No worse way to end the week than double maths, right? Miss Clyde is like some kind of black hole, bending time so it stretches on forever. At least it's the weekend now. Sure. You're not talking to me. I just did. I wonder if there's any way to harness the boring energy that Miss Clyde gives off and use it to power warp drive or something. Doesn't really matter anymore. Right. I can't believe you didn't tell me. I feel so stupid. How could I have been this stupid? I wasn't telling anybody. I'm not anybody. I'm practically your only friend. And now you're leaving me to go to... I don't even know where you're going. Where are you going, Ash? Can you tell me that at least? Mum got a job overseas. Overseas? Hong Kong. Maybe we can come and visit. I don't want to visit you in Hong Kong. I want to visit you three doors down from my house where you've always lived. Plus, it's practically irresponsible that she's taking you out of school at this age. What are you, the principal? It's probably stunting your growth. You'll get all weird and withdrawn. Not with the support of my best friend, I won't. You didn't even tell your best friend that it was your last day today. I had to find out from Kennedy. She got so shocked when she realised I didn't know. I'm really scared. We didn't even know we were going to go till Mum got the word over the weekend and it was a yes. They need her there like ASAP. It suddenly went from being a weird maybe to reality. And I'm sorry you found out from Kennedy. She's the worst. You should leave her behind. Mum's already started packing our stuff. Shame. When do you leave? Two weeks. Were you ever going to tell me? It's a letter. Obviously. I tried to give it to you this morning. It explains about how I'm moving and that I'm really scared and that I didn't know how to tell my best friend. And I'm sorry. You'll be okay. I hope so. Even without your buddy Sam. So are you going to read the letter? You kind of spoiled it for me, so maybe later.